Thank you. And now moving out of the Anglosphere, uh, Isia Sendes Lopez will talk about uh, activities in Latin America. Still in the southern hemisphere, though. So, so that's the outline of, of what I want to cover in the next five minutes. I will start uh, give you, uh, giving you an overview of the infrastructure installed in Latin America for genomic studies. I will then go over two uh, projects that are already happening in Latin America, multicenter uh, projects, and two projects in Brazil. And those were cho chosen as examples of projects that can be uh, done in conjunction with the Global Alliance. I will then describe one single initiative uh, in the education in Latin America, uh, and this was chosen among many others. And I will finish by uh, give you an example of an initiative in which we were working already in conjunction with the Global Alliance. So let's see if I can get this right. So, no, which one? Green butter, oh, the big green butter. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so uh, th 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 those are the numbers of uh, Affymetrix platforms installed in Brazil and in Latin America. And uh, in Brazil, uh, you can see that they are spread around the country, uh, in basically um, in most of the 24 states uh, of the country. And uh, the Thermo Fisher scientific uh, sequencers are present in 113 sites in Brazil and 62 sites in Latin America. And the Illumina uh, sequencers, uh, I only have data for Brazil, they are present in 120 sites and there are equipment from, from different uh, uh, sizes. So the first project I want to mention in Latin America is the Latin American Collaborative Study on Congenital Malformations. This is a, is a program uh, to evaluate clinical and epidemiological investigation of risk factors in the etiology of congenital anomalies. And it's uh, hospital-based and is, uses a case control methodological approach. It has been going on since 1967. And uh, for the past decades, they have also incorporated DNA banking and genomic studies. And uh, here on the yellow dots, you can see all the sites uh, in Brazil and the whole of La uh, South America and some uh, of the Central America countries that participate in the study. Uh, the second study is the study group on, on hereditary tumors, which was established in 2003 and is coordinated by Dr. Benedito Rossi from the Ciro Hospital in Sao Paulo. And uh, here it's the, sorry, here it's the title, whoops, oh, okay. Here is the title in, in, written in Portuguese and in Spanish, and they are the same except for one uh, I here, which is different in uh, Spanish. Uh, and uh, this project has been already integrated with uh, other international ongoing uh, initiatives. And they are holding a workshop next week in Sao Paulo within the meeting of the International Society for Gastrointestinal Hereditary Tumors. Uh, so now two projects from Brazil, the INAGEMP, which is the National Institute of Population Medical Genetics, established in 2008. Uh, with funding from uh, the Ministry of uh, Science and Technology. Those are the sites that participate uh, in the uh, initiative, and they are particularly interested in rare diseases. And recently, there was also a site that was established in uh, Argentina. They also have uh, collect clinical, epidemiological, uh, uh, family history, as well as DNA banking, and they are performing genomic studies. So uh, that's another study in Brazil. This is the Brazilian Epidemiologic and Biobank Stroke Study, established in 2004 with funding up to 2000 and, uh, 2014, funding up to 2016. And that's a prospective population-based based study developing five cities across, across Brazil uh, that, uh, with the aim of studying different types of stroke. Uh, they are uh, collecting clinical uh, imaging data as well as DNA banking, and uh, they expect to collect uh, per year two, 200, uh, 204, uh, sorry, 2,400 samples for patients and close to 5,000 samples in uh, controls. 
There was a previous, pi a previous pilot study of this project, which was performed in a single uh, center in the south of Brazil, in Joinville, and uh, collecting over 1,000 samples from stroke patients and 2,000 controls. And these samples have been shipped to my lab uh, in Campinas, Sao Paulo, and we are performing uh, genomic studies uh, in, in the samples of this uh, pilot project. So uh, I, I want to talk about one education initiative in Latin America, which is the School of Human and Medical Genetics, established in 2005. And that's the, a picture of the science committee, Dr. Giuliani, Mati, and Sauzano from Brazil, uh, Augusto Rojas Martinez from Mexico, and uh, Victor Pensachad and Eduardo Castilla from Argentina. And this is an initiative uh, uh, in conjunction with the Latin American Network of Human Genetics, HELAG, whose president, Dr. Aida Falcon, is in the audience. And the next meeting of the Latin American Network uh, uh, will be held in June 2016 in conjunction with the Brazilian Medical Society in the town of Belém. And those are the numbers of students that have participated in the school uh, in the past 10 years. So you see we have uh, good numbers in Brazil, in Argentina, in Colombia, uh, in Mexico, uh, but they, we have representatives for all the Latin, uh, of the Latin American countries and some of the Caribbean as well. And, uh, 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 last, I want to talk about an ongoing project that has already uh, been developed within the Global Alliance, and it was uh, based on, on the uh, fact that the Brazilian population is not represented, represented in the International Genomic Database. It has a very complex genetic background. It's very mixed. And uh, due to admixture, all the Latin American populations cannot be used as proxies for the Brazilian uh, population. Uh, as it has been demonstrated in previous studies. This is a study reporting on a limited number of SNPs, and you can see that Brazilians represented here as uh, red triangles, they do not cluster together with other populations, including some mixed populations such as Mexicans. So there is a justification for a specific approach for the Brazilian population. So we at the University of Campinas, Unicamp, are characterizing molecular profiles of reference subjects using SNP arrays and whole exome sequencing. We're setting strategic collaborations to deploy the results and are preparing the environment uh, to uh, publicly share all this information. Uh, this is being done uh, by the Brazilian Institute of Neuroscience and Neurotechnology. Uh, and the Center for Computation Engineer uh, and Science, both at Unicamp in conjunction with the Global Alliance, and we're hoping to uh, also engage uh, other international partners. And uh, we finish a public database with the molecular findings, uh, and we hope that in the near uh, in the in the next uh, few months we will light a beacon uh, with this uh, information. And uh, we're also integrating our results with uh, available uh, uh, database. And uh, just close to our venue here, uh, we have uh, also installed, uh, this is our installation here, which is uh, already available. And we hope that we'll, our data will be visible very soon. So, and uh, I thank you very much. <laughs>